All right, so you spend all this time putting together this room, putting the unique textures in it, uh, adding the lights, adding the start point. Now you're ready to actually compile and run the game. Uh, this, your very first uh, compiling is not going to take very long because there's not a lot to put into it. But as your game gets more and more complex, uh, it's going to get uh, a little bit more difficult. In fact, uh, some of the compiling times could take upwards of 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, this one's going to take probably less than 15 seconds because there's five lights, six brushes, and one info node, and that's it. Uh, but just like how you want to uh, save your game off, and the other thing that you want to do is make sure that you're compiling your game off. And, uh, it's going to help uh, kind of calculate light times. It's also going to help uh, figuring out where there's problems in the map that you're creating. To save it doesn't show you your problems. To compile it shows you where you may have a leak. Uh, where one of your brushes, uh, you just didn't calculate it right, and it leaks off into space, and the game will never be able to be run or compiled. And so that just helps you figure out some of your errors. So you're, what you're going to want to do is select File, and go down to Run Map, or hit F9. And what that's going to do is give you the compiling uh, thing, uh, the compiling prompt. You want to run everything as normal, and in fact, if it's not clicked, make sure you click HDR. What this is is uh, is a it gives you better lighting. It's more dynamic lighting. And then there's one last little box. Uh, if you're just compiling it to figure out where the problems are, uh, click the Don't Run the Game after compiling. But for our uh, case here, what we're going to want to do is make sure that's unclicked because we actually want to see the game run. Now, I don't know how this is going to record and captivate because it's going to be switching programs here, but let's see how it functions. All right, so you have everything set up and you're ready to go, and just click OK. And it's going to start to create the compiling window. It's going to show you where your lights are and how everything's functioning, and everything seems fine. The last thing it's going to do, it's going to run the program, and in this case, it's going to run it from Gary's mouth.